Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Rochelle Devera from BSN 2A Group 2. And today, I'm going to demonstrate the fundal height measurement for prenatal care. So for the description, fundal height is a measurement in centimeters from your pubic bone to the top of your uterus. Um, by measuring the fundal height measurement during pregnancy, we can determine how well the baby is growing and also the gestational age. So for the purposes, first to determine the gestation and growth of the uh, fetus. Second is to um, identify multiple pregnancies and also if there is a complications during pregnancy like amniotic fluid disorders or a high daddy form mold and a fetal growth disturbances. So now let's proceed for the preparation. So for the assessment, we need to assess the size of the uterus and also the gestational age of the fetus, like numbers of weeks or months of pregnancies. So now let's proceed for the implementation. So first thing to do, you need to introduce yourself to the client and explain what you are going to do, why it is necessary, and also how the client or the patient can cooperate with us. Then, encourage the mother to empty the bladder, as if she has done that in the last 30 minutes. Um, the rationality there is, um, it has been demonstrated that the um, fundal height measurement can be three centimeter higher at 17 to 20 weeks if the bladder of the mother is full. Then you need to provide the privacy of the patient or the client. So if you are in the room, make sure that the door and the window is closed. And if there is a curtain, you need to um, close the curtain. And then you need to properly treat the client or the patient. So, and then later on, um, you need to expose only the abdomen of the mother as it is as it, it is the only part that we are going to examine. Do not expose um, any parts that you are not going to examine. Next is you need to um, position the mother in a supine position with her knee flex. And then you can get a small pillow or a roll towel and then put it under the right bottom of the mother if the gravid size um, gravid uterus size is more likely to compromise a maternal and also this or circle um, fetal circulation the rationality there is um, the un um, what you call this one uh, enlarged um, uterus can compress um, inferior vena cava and lower aorta that can lead to um, maternal supine high potential and also um, reduce um, utero reduce utero placental blood flow um, blood flow that can cause which can cause actually a fetal compromise so after that we can um, perform hand washing so let's say for instance i wash my hands and then um, uh, also observe other appropriate infection control procedure like you can put your um, gloves uh, and then make sure that your hands are um, clean and warm so why is it warm so warm hands can um, minimize maternal um, minimize maternal discomfort and also um, can um, what you call this one uh, and also um, can reduce or inducing the contraction of the uterus so now let's proceed for the palpation of the abdomen so we need to palpate the abdomen of the mother to get an accurate information to the uterine fundus. So you can also get the tape measure now and then put the zero mark which is in centimeter to the synthesis pubis. So here, expose the mother 
abdomen, and then put the zero mark as I've said to the same pieces you base. Make sure that your hand and the tape is on it, and then run the tape measure to the midline part of the abdomen of the mother to the fundus or uppermost border of the fundus. The rationale there is we need to locate the fundus by uh, moving our hands on moving our hands down to the abdomen at below the sternum until we felt the curve of the uppermost um, border of the uh, fundus. So as the distance from the symphysis pubis to the um, depression in front of the um, pad of our middle finger. Now we can um, document the distance in centimeter uh, and then uh, re compare it to the calculated gestation. And after that, you can help the mother to um, cover the abdomen and then help the mother to move in the bed then now let's proceed for the evaluation so for the evaluation now you can record the uh, metric measurement and also the you can plot it into the growth um, chart and also if there is a discrepancy in the size and or gestation uh, about less than two centimeter you can discuss it with the obstetric team and also you can relate to um, prior assessment data if it is available.